Uh, so hi, uh, welcome to a new episode of the Unimaginatively Titled Comic Vlog. It feels like a, a month since I last did one of these. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's more like 42, 43 days. Uh, right now, we're nearly halfway through November. And uh, it's time to reflect, I think, on Inktober. On the screen, you can see I'm doing some uh, some colouring work. This is for a commission. Uh, this is one of many, many, many drawings I will be doing for this commission. Uh, this is uh, this will be a group of Vikings plotting in a wood. So um, have fun with that. So yeah, Inktober was was a success, and I'm very happy about that. Um, the f this is the second time I've done Inktober. The first time I, I, I had a crack at Inktober uh, was last year, and I was working on stuff for uh, the 100s. And I was juggling that. Uh, November's a busy time of year anyway for me. Uh, and I think I lasted about four days into Inktober when I sort of noped out of it. And, um, luckily, this time around, I actually read the rules, so I know what I'm doing. Um, and it turns out that you don't have to slavishly follow the prompt list. The prompt list is just a suggestion for the day. So, armed with the prompt list a month early, because Jake Parker releases the official Inktober prompt list earlier than than uh, October, so I had the best part of a month to sort of think about what I wanted to do with Inktober, and in effect, plan it. So... Um, the idea oh, what was that? There's nothing. The idea came very quickly to do a comic book using the prompts to sort of drive the story, to drive the plot. And so I started spending lunch times planning out pages and working out what the story could be about and, and what could be happening. Um based on the prompts and I was able to sort of get it all sort of from now that way before uh, October started so when October did start I was already well prepared with thumbnails ready to ink and so I think that was really key in, in, in letting me sort of hit Inktober targets so yeah general opinion uh, general sort of feedback from people on Instagram is a big plus, very positive, people like the story, um, and they sort of, a couple of people said, oh, is this going to be printed, and uh, oh, I can't wait to find out what happens next, and stuff like this, so let's talk about what happens next. Um, November, as I said, is a busy time of year, I've got a lot on, but January is relatively quiet, so in January, I will be picking up all the drawings that we did for Inktober. I'll be giving them a good look over. I will probably redraw a few panels. There's a couple of panels even I can think of that didn't they they don't look right. They don't look a hundred percent on model. So I will redraw those panels to make them look better. Uh we need to add a few pages because at the moment it's thirty one pages. So we need to add some pages. I'm going to scan them in. I'm going to add some tones. And I'm going to then publish that as a book. So you heard it here first. We're going to have a book published next year. It's going to happen. Uh, I've worked out cut the printing costs. I've worked out the format. In fact, when I did the pages, I formatted it to fit on an A5 page. So we were already... I was already thinking about publishing it as I was drawing it. So... That's a good thing. Um, so once that's done, what happens next? Well, I'm already kicking around some ideas for what we can do for the next stage, the next chapter in the Spaceman's Adventures. What happens next? What was that weird, mysterious spacecraft that uh, uh, tractor beamed his escape pod at the end? What happened with all that? We're going to pick the story up, I think, and we're going to progress the story onwards. And I think we'll just have we might just have two parts, like, like volume one, volume two. There we go. We need a story. We need to, the story needs a title. 
and I'll need to do a, a cover for both of them. But uh, I'm I'm confident that we can get at least volume one definitely printed first quarter next year. So I'm very excited about that. Um, there's going to be a slight change in how we format these videos going forwards. Um, it seems like recent legislation has been passed in the UK government to close a loophole uh, um, forbidding people to use cameras as cameras whilst driving. So my in-car videos will have to stop. So well, I'm experimenting with this uh, type of thing, which is me working on stuff. Sped up a little bit and, uh, you know, that might be a way of doing it. We might just have pictures. We might have other stuff. So that's something we're going to look at. I'm also looking into the possibility of getting some live streaming done. Now it's the 13th of November now. Uh, I believe the 18th of November is, um, I believe it's a Monday. And I'm hoping that we might do a bit of live streaming. It's hard to say. Uh, but if I do live stream, it'll probably be between, say, half eight, half nine, GMT. Um, it's all determined. It, the big determining factor is, is is if my daughter settles down to sleep okay. Uh, <laughs> but we should take it from there. So we're going to work with that. So, so on the table, possibly some live streams. We're going to get back into making some videos. The videos might just be pictures with voiceover. They might be like time lapse with, with voiceover uh, so we're changing the way we're working a little bit but we'll do some probably do some to, little stuff to camera at, on occasion God, that's a roundabout way of talking about stuff isn't it um, what else has been going on oh I've um, been doing some single pages of comics that other people have submitted scripts to um, and I've really enjoyed that process uh, so I've got three on the go at the moment. I've got one about an unimpressive god. One about uh, luchador wrestling, which is uh, a Mexican wrestling form. Yeah, where they wear they're like a, a mask. And they do lots of jumping off ropes and submission holds. Rey Mysterio from the WWE, he's, he's one of those uh, types of wrestlers. Uh, the other one is... Uh, a sort of body horror I want to say I want to say body horror uh, with an alien and a soldier and involves samurai swords and lots of uh, gore um, so that's going to be interesting uh, of, oh yes forthcoming episode we will be doing a new year's or end of year show and we'll talk about the, the comics out this year, that we've put out this year. We'll do some some predictions for next year. And we might do an AMA. So if you are watching, both of you are watching, uh, <laughs> think of a question. Put it to one side. Forget about it. And then a bit later on, if we do do an AMA, you can put it on there. Um, yeah. Okay. So I've talked long enough. Um I'll let this video play for a little bit longer so that you can see more of this, this colouring in progress. Um, the software I'm using here is Krita. Um, and it's going to be the software I'm, I think it's my favourite software now. I think it's my software I'll be using going forwards. So, yeah. Should be, uh, should be interesting times. Yeah. I'll just let this play out a little bit longer.
Okay. Um, I think I'll do for now. Um, we, we'll pick this up again next week. Uh, I'm sure we'll think of something to talk about. We usually do. So until then, we'll see you all anon. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed and lock the bell for notifications. Okay, bye bye now.